Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with civil engineering. So the first question, a triangle of right way consists of option A, 3 turn outs, option B, 1 turn out and 2 diamonds, option C, 2 turn outs and 1 split, option D, 1 turn out and 1 split and 1 diamond. The correct answer is 2 turn outs and 1 split. Next question, if D is the distance between center of two parallel tracks of the gauge G with entire curved leads and equal angles of crossing, total length of crossover is option A, D into 4 or 2G D, option B, D into 3 or 2G D, option C, D into 3 or plus 2G into D, option D, D into 4 plus 2G into D. So the correct answer is option A D into 4 or into 2G into D. Next question, pick up the incorrect statement from the following. Option A ends of adjoining rails should be in true alignment. Option B rail joint should be as strong as the rail section itself. Option C rail joint should be elastic laterally as well as vertically. Option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. Next question, staged rail joints are generally provided option A on curves, option B on tangents, option C on bridges, option D in tunnels. So the correct answer is option A on curves. Next question, bull headed rails are generally provided on option A points and crossing, option B straight tangents, option C curved tracks, option D meter coach tracks. The correct answer is option A points and crossings. Next question, the check rails are placed opposite the crossing so that option A it is symmetrically placed opposite nose of crossing, option B it is one third length of ahead of the nose of crossing, option C its two third length is ahead of the nose of crossing, option D it is three fourth length is ahead of nose of crossing. So the correct answer is its two third length is ahead of the nose of the crossing. Next question, weight and cross section of the rails are decided on option A gauge of tracks, option B speed of trains, option C type of rails, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. Next question, main disadvantage of the steel sleeper is option A it get rusted quickly. Option B, its lugs sometimes get broken. Option C, its lugs sometimes get split. Option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option D, all the above. Next question, an extra 7.5 cm ballast width is not provided on outer side of the curve if the, its degree is option A, 6 degree, option B, 5 degree, option C, 4 degree, option D, 3 degree. The correct answer is option D, 3 degree. Next question, the factor of deciding the type of sleeper is option A, easy fixing and removal of rails, option B, initial and maintenance cost, option C, strength to act as a beam under loads, option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option D, all the above. Next question, spacing of sleepers, option A, throughout the length of the rail is kept uniform, Option B, near rail joints is kept closer. Option C, at the middle of rails it kept closer. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is, at the middle of the rails is kept closer. Next question, rail section is generally designated by its Option A, total weight. Option B, total length. Option C, weight per meter length. Option D, area of its cross section. The correct answer is weight per meter length. Next question, pick up the current statement from the following. Option A, length of tongue rail should be greater than rigid wheel base of the wheel. Option B, shock rail should be longer than tongue rail. Option C, length of stock rail ahead of the toe should be minimum of 1.65 meter. Option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option D, all the above. Next question, total effective bearing area of both the bowls of 
pod sleeper is option a slightly more than that of the wooden sleeper option b slightly less than that of the wooden sleeper option c equal to that of the wooden sleeper option d none of the above so the correct answer is option c equal that of the wooden sleeper next question for metal sleepers with round edges maximum size of ballast is option a 50 mm option b 40 mm option c 30 mm option d 25 cm so the correct answer is option b 40 mm next question if g is a gauge distance and a is the crossing the distance between the nose of acute crossing and nose of obtuse crossing of a rail diamond measuring along the rail not forming the diamond is option a g cot theta option b g tan theta option c g sin theta option d g cos theta so the correct answer is option a g cot theta next question on indian railways number of crossing is defined as option a sin of angle of crossing option b cosine of angle of crossing option c tangent of angle of crossing option d contingent of angle of crossing the correct answer is option d contingent of angle of crossing next question in india meter gauge permanent way was adopted in option a 1855 option b 1860 option c 1866 option d 1871 the correct answer is option d 1871 Next question on a single lane track 10 goods trains loaded with iron ore runs from A to B and empty wagons return from B to A daily amount of creep of rails will be option A 0 option B more in the direction of A to B option C more in the direction of B to A option D none of the above so the correct answer is option B more in the direction of A to B next question in a combined footing if shear stress exceeds 5 kg per cm square the nominal stirrups provided are option a 6 legged option b 8 legged option c 10 legged option d 12 legged so the correct answer is option d 12 legged the maximum area of tension reinforcement in beam shall not exceed option a 0.15 percentage option b 1.50 percentage option c 4 percentage option d 1 percentage the correct answer is option c 4 percentage next question as per is 456 1978 the ph value of water shall be option a less than 6 option b equal to 6 option c not less than 6 option d equal to 7 the correct answer is option c not less than 6 Again we will see in next video thank you